today we came at Al Chiasso, this is the only place in Seoul where when you open the door you can smell, you can feel the trattoria, trattoria smell. Buongiorno! <laughs> I love my espresso. Of course. So he's not an Italian if you don't drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing we do is prepare our oh. pasta dough. <laughs> so we need for this recipe, homemade style, we need 500 grams of all purpose flour. We need five eggs. So the rule states for every 100 gram of uh, flour, you need one, one egg. egg. Full egg. Whole. Whole egg. Whole egg. Okay. It makes it more easy also for your hands. And after when we are going to open the dough, the dough will be very elastic smooth. thanks to the white of the egg. It will be more smooth, more elastic, not hard. Okay, let's go. So, first thing we do. Un pizzico di sale, one pinch of salt, we mix a little bit, just a little bit mix, you don't need uh, to montare, non so, non mi ricordo come si dice, devo spaccare un pochettino le uova. Now we put our flour in our working station and we do what we call in Italy fontana punsu in Korean. <laughs> so we try to make a small mountain first and then we make a hole in the center. We make a volcano then. Mm. No? That's why we call it punsu and not mountain. <laughs> we make we try to keep even the walls. And you know, in the center, we put the egg. Da qua penso si veda bene, mi sembra. Now, very slowly, we bring the flour and start to mix. Watching very carefully to don't let the flour, the egg, go out of the of your fountain. As you can see, slowly, slowly, I'm trying to make a dough out of it. So slowly mixing your egg with the flour and slowly adding always more flour. So be careful. <laughs> so 
we broke our fountain, finally, and uh, we have this uh, mass of dough. The dough is not finished. Now we have to start making the dough, okay, effectively. The dough. So, you take, fold, and press. And, ke and keep bringing the flour to the center. And press. The dough is very sticky, so don't worry about it. Everything that's uh, left in your hand, you rub it off and keep on using it in the but dough. Maybe you can just lick your finger and then... <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you want to do that. We finish uh, molding our dough, we make a nice ball and we have to keep the dough resting for one hour at least. So what we do is we take a linnet, we wet it and we cover the dough so that it doesn't make a crust. Okay. This is very important, you don't want it to crust. See you in one hour. <laughs> So one hour passed, yes. our dough is ready to use. So we've been resting the dough for one hour. Yes. At so least one hour. To check if the dough is ready, you want to take a finger, press on your dough. If the dough keeps the finger mark and doesn't come back up, then the means that the dough is rested enough so that we can start to open it up easily. So we have a very relaxed dough. dough. Very no easy. stress. <laughs> no stress. <laughs> stress free. Dough. Stress free. <laughs> and it means that it, it will be easier to work on. Yes, it will be much easier to open it up open by it hand. Up. Okay. So when you open the dough, it doesn't come back. Yeah, exactly. Like a, a, a rubber, just a... Yes, you don't want to it to have the rubber Easy effect. to shape it. So we want to keep the dough a little bit uh, thick, not too much uh, thick. <laughs> you have to be able to see, see your hands, but not too much. We are, <coughs> we are not making ravioli, so we don't need very thin. We want to have still a little bit of a texture, texture on our mouth. So now we are going to cut our dough. So a little bit of flour, we start. flour on the dough, of course, and we make a fold. So let's decide how long we want the tagliolini. So I would say around one palm and four fingers, yeah, should be enough, around here. So I fold here, put a little bit extra flour, and I fold again. Basically, I make a threefold. You, can, you use a chopping board, I like to use the cutting mat because for other preparations I have also the, the dimensions I can cut at various dimensions. For this recipe, you don't need. Yeah. So I will take my, my dough and put on my chopping board. We cut one edge and we cut the other edge. For maltagliati. This one here, we make another type of pasta later if you want to eat. Like this, we have three sheets of dough. One, two, and three. Now, 
we are going to do. First thing you want to do is, like you do with the uh, kalguksu, <laughs> you want to roll your dough. You can make a circle, you can make uh, whatever shape, whatever roll you want, the size. I make it at this size because it comes easier to cut out. We are going to use a knife, our chopping board and our roll of pasta. You can cut off the end to make it nice and clean and then around 3-4 millimeters wide because it's not tagliatelle, it's a little bit wider than linguine. <laughs> so let's say around this much. So don't worry, Bado. Don't worry if uh, size are different. It's a homemade pasta, so. So it has to be that. Uh, All different is okay. <laughs> you take it and you roll it out. Unfold it. And you unfold. And here you have your tagliolini. And you do it for all the pasta. You grab and unfold. To avoid uh, that the pasta to stick, we are going to grab a little bit of uh, flour, put it on top and uh, mix a little bit and separate a bit. So for one person around 100 gram should be enough of fresh pasta. Yeah. Here we have around 300 gram, this is enough for three people. So our pasta is ready, now we make the sauce for our pasta. We will need some butter, burro, our black truffle and parmigian. Very simple recipe. We cut a little bit of black truffle, not too much. We are going to make around uh, one plate we put it back and we chop it up. Now we sound it. One little bit olive oil, just very little bit. The butter. and our chopped truffle. We go very low fire. Because we don't want to burn the, the butter. a little bit of pasta water, the water that you will boil your pasta. Like always, a pinch of salt. <laughs> and the sauce is done, for now. <laughs> okay. Our water is boiling, water and salt, not only water. <laughs> Italians cook pasta, water and salt. When the water is boiling, we put the tagliolini inside. I like al dente, so I go three minutes. And a little bit of a mix. You want the pasta to separate itself in the water. Very important, strong fire now. One, two, 
free and it's done parmigiano Parmigiano. And lastly, truffle like there is no tomorrow. <laughs> Che <ride> pensi? Eccezionale Tagliolino al tartufo Tu non mai provocato E ora io e me bagno Che volevo dire Che volevo dire Che volevo dire